So I grew up in small town Idaho. And I remember when I was really little and when my mom was working two or three jobs in order to make ends meet and get by. She told me much later, I didn't know this at the time, but she told me much later about how when it came time for annual school supplies for my brothers and I, she would have to max out her credit cards in order to get our school supplies and school clothes and then pay it off throughout the year. And I remember when I was in high school and I talked to my mom about getting a job, high school job like everyone does. And I wanted to get a job in the local lumber mill because they paid pretty well. And my mom said, no, you're not going to get a job at the lumber mill because you're going to go to college. And in order for you to go to college, you need to get scholarships. And she said, so you need to apply yourself to your schoolwork like you had a job and get the grades and the test scores that you need to be able to get those scholarships to go to college. So that became my job. And so I worked hard and I graduated uh, top of my class and I got the scholarships. I was fortunate. I ended up being the first in my family to get a bachelor's degree. That was pretty important. It was quite an accomplishment. I think that was one of the things about growing up in small town Idaho is knowing that you can do those things, but knowing that that opportunity is there and it's available for you so that you can go on and change your life and better your life for the future. And I used those lessons about working hard when it came to applying my mind to doing things. And I used those to go after college to go on to law school. Those same skills of applying your mind to those types of goals will take you far in life. And I used those to advance my career as an attorney and then advance my career in higher education and eventually work my way up to be a university president in my home state where I now get to help other first-generation students achieve their dreams.